there's about 13 and a half square kilometres of floodplain here um, where the Wannan River comes out of the Grampians and it um, the, the Wannan uh, comes into Gooseneck Swamp and then uh, into Brady Swamp, fills those two and then when they're full it overflows and, and heads off down the, the stream of the Wannan River again. This is a project we did some work in 2013 uh, after the earlier works at Gooseneck Swamp the um, landholders who still hold the land the southern <coughs> portion of Brady Swamp are interested in, in working with the drainage out of Brady Swamp to see if we could hold a bit more water back. Uh, so we undertook a trial there in 2013 and through a, a funding under the Living Victoria program we were able to, to re, um, reinstate the natural hydrology by filling in those drains. You see an immediate change in the landscape. You see a, a real change in the species that come to the area and, and it's not just one or two it's thousands and thousands of birds that, that benefit from it and, and all the other species associated with it. I guess one of the most iconic species that we, we hear probably more than see is, is the growling grass frog it's a, a really distinct sound that you hear resonating across this landscape and, and what we've seen just by having water here lasting longer into the summer months has given them especially their tadpoles, a greater opportunity just to make it through to a stage where they can survive when it dries up a bit. Most of the wetland restoration projects we do are with tremendous help from the community um, in the form of volunteers and, and they might be people who live locally in the area. Um, we've done a lot of projects around here with the, the Hamilton Field Naturalist Club who are a big supporter of what we do. And in terms of involvement, we have people who are uh, actively involved in our sites on a, on a weekly basis. Um, some people will just come out for specific events like building these structures. So it's it's not a long-term commitment, but it can be, uh, and it, it's pretty open-ended. Um, a lot of the sites, we're still working out what we're going to do over the long term, and people are just chipping in and getting involved in, in activities as they arise.